Hey guys, it's DIY Eddie coming at you with another project here. Okay, so this one actually has to do with the ring alarm here. Um, as you can see here, the ring alarm. Um, now, do this to your own discretion, but uh, I am actually going to modify these to a SEP for a commercial door there, right? Um, so the commercial door has this type of contact sensor um, and this is inside the ring box here their contact sensor their wireless contact sensor and this is a magnet um, battery goes in here right battery goes right there um, this is going to be your switch Oop, let me see. so let's see if I can focus Anyways, so I can't get it to focus that good. So this is your switch here, okay? Come on. Okay, so the way this switch works, and let me zoom in here. See switch one right here. You have your little two contacts there. I don't know if you can see them, they're kind of separated. Um, so I have my multimeter here, um, and I just have it set to ohms, and I'm going to put one of my plugs on here, All right, so just one on that side, and then the other one's going to go to the opposite side, so I'm just trying to, you know, figure out how their switch actually works, their contact switch, um, it seems pretty, fairly simple, so Right now we're getting nine mags. I mean, basically mags, you have nothing. You have a zero, right? Um, and that's what the contact on the outside. So as soon as I start putting it closer, see to there, now I'm getting 0.2 ohms, okay? So that's basically how it works. When you take it away, when the door's away, you have mags, which is zero, right? It's open. Um, and I'm far away here. Well, as soon as I start introducing it closer, right, your contact's going to be right here, really close. Point 0.2, okay? So that's for this unit. And now this one actually took out of the door. Um, so this, this is a swing door, commercial swing door, just right there, right? Um, so this traditionally goes hardwired it goes over and over to the other side um, over to the alarm box and everything's hardwired these are wireless okay so they do have an adapter box um, the adapter box is $200 and I did not buy it yet because I wanted to test and figure out how this unit works before I go and spend $200 on a unit that essentially might do the same thing so this is going to be my kind of um inf informative and in trying to see if it works um and see if i could get this desoldered solder this in here well an extension right this i'll put back on the door this i'll set it right up top and use the contact that's existing, which is a hidden contact, which is what this is. Um, so we're gonna test this one now, all right? Same way, we're gonna go ahead and clip one side. Try and do this with one hand. Now I was trying to find some information on, on these and, and ring doesn't make anything like this. Um, let me catch it right. Okay, so this is connected. We're still on ohms. We're open, right? Megs. So my magnet, same magnet. Let's take this off the connector. All right, we I have a magnet up there that was already installed. Um, and you'll see on here, as soon as I introduce it, which is right there, point two. Okay. So magnet, your switch, right, your door switch, we're getting the same. So I'm going to take it away, 
we're open again. Put it back. Or point two. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Um, because these came with these connect type of connectors. I took off the original ones there. So I went and have a piece of wire, which is the wire that they used for it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and solder here. Well, actually, yes, solder here. And then pull the wire. So I'm gonna leave the unit up top, right? Up here. Up here, where it's hidden still. You can see I'm gonna leave it right there on one of these sides. Put the wire down and then the door contact will actually go where this wire is coming out of okay so like i said do this to your own discretion if you don't feel comfortable doing this don't do it but i'm always here trying to help people out and uh this was on sale um for 179 at costco it's a 10 piece um alarm set there um so i have this this is my first hurdle, right? And then we're gonna come out here. Excuse the mess here. And here. That's the second one, okay? So the second one's a little bit different where the sensor is down here. Let's see if I can put a light on here. Um, I have to get better light over here. So the sensor's here and the magnet's right here. Okay, then you have your wire and it comes up and bam, there it is right there. So I'm gonna have to mount, catch this sensor, catch it right there somewhere, right? And see if I could use that same mechanism, everything, and then just put the wireless sensor up there, the signal. And do the same thing where I'm gonna solder those points, take the other one off. But let's do the door first since it's the easiest. Now, the reason why I bought, um, so this is the traditional box, right? So we have the traditional box here. I have my, get my screwdriver out, right? So that's that's a traditional box or your alarm box. Everything's hardwired. Everything's there, right? And you have your your GSM module, which is a cellular, and then you have your alarm um, speaker there, backup battery. Um, so those are expensive. So let me go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and solder the wire to here. Just two points, right? I'm going to use red and black, the existing red and black. Um, and the reason I got this kit is because it comes with extra sensors. Um, I think it's like eight of them or six of them. A range extender and everything else. So if the first one doesn't work, at least I'll be able to put those back. <laughs> okay. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. So, like I mentioned again, I'm gonna desolder these two points. I'm gonna take this board off, desolder these two points, and wire, put my wire at those two points. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I removed it and just wired the two right to switch one, switch two. Same thing here, and then on back of here, I just made a little hole pass the wire through so I'm gonna go ahead and close it up okay that's closed up on here that makes it a little tight on there you could see on there right okay so I'm gonna feed this through and I'm gonna connect this one to the other side so it's I'm gonna go up there and go ahead and work this okay so this is the second part so this is gonna go something like that right and then I have my contact sensor, the one, the existing one. And I just use the same connectors here. And on top of that, the door, I have the magnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up. <clears throat> and then hide the wiring. All right, so I'm going to pull it up as much as I can. See, and then I got it to blink because it's looking for the contact sensor. All right. So... Give me a second, let me work this in there and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm out it. Oh, I'm almost gonna fall. So I pushed it up and then pushed the wire into the wires in here. 
And this is double-sided Velcro. I mean, just double-sided foam tape here at the bottom. You see it's blinking. It's waiting for a response for, from that. And I'm going to hide this wire. I'm just going to shove it back in here. All right. Because I don't need it. And whenever they install again, or whoever comes next after me, will see this wire. All right. And at least know that they have wire that goes to the box. Um, so a lot of the stuff's temporary here at the warehouse, so let's see if it makes contact. Let's see. See the contacts right there and the magnets right under it. So, let me see. so that's the magnet there. So let me go ahead and check my app. Okay, so one thing I found out if you do get a tamper alarm um this little micro switch right there you can see it right there it says sw3 which is this one right here you just have to make sure the inside here is touching that down or else it says that the unit's been tampered with um so i got that one it took me a little bit i had to put tape around the connections inside uh because in here ended up um just nicking a little bit of the insulation uh, so that's there, and then let me go ahead and open it so you could hear. You could hear when. So, so it's ringing, all right? It's ringing, and then I have my this right here. I need to mount this still, but it works. <laughs> so if people ask. Do you need that one um, retrofit kit? And the answer for me, I'm not a professional alarm installer, um, so if you don't feel you know comfortable, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. If you don't not feel comfortable with the soldering iron, don't do it. Um, but it is possible because I'll. very faint but um it works and it signals whenever this door is open so that's how i'm gonna do this one and i'm gonna go ahead and work on this one so this one's gonna be for the garage door um i mean the warehouse door i'm sorry so got that there and then i put my keypad you know on the end there um some more work on this one put wire um, well, you know what? I'll probably just be able to. No, I'll probably have to just wire it there. Um, so I'll probably wire my cable and then put wire uh, nuts on the other side. So I'll cut the cable over there where you saw it earlier uh, because I don't have my soldering iron to connect it direct there. So I'm just going to make a little jumper here. And then one thing I did find out is whenever I put this wire, um, so I don't have the wire with me, how I made that hole over here, um, it's kind of hard to close the cover. So maybe, I don't know, maybe if we could find a different way to put the wire through. Um, so this just sits over there because you have the little guy, the, the D right there, matches the D there. Um, and I was even thinking about going this way forward, but we have the hole here, maybe right here. Um, or maybe even up here. Just pass it through here, make a little hole which would be direct right here. Um, and then this you can mount it to the wall, something like that. That's probably what I'm going to do for this one, give it a shot. Probably put it like right here or something. That way it comes this way and it goes up. Since this is just going to be mounted to the wall. Um, but this is going to be my contact sensor, wireless contact to wired sensor um, DIY here. So, that little guy right there. Let me go ahead and get this started. Okay, so I just got this one done. Let's see if I can zoom in. So I put the ring right there. Right there. My wire's coming out of the top, which is way better. It closes way better. Um, and so the wire comes 
And down here, which is a contact sensor on the roll door. And the top is the magnet, the bottom is the sensor. I checked the wire black and red, same as the other one. And we're good. Now every time I open the, you can't really hear it through the garage door. See, but it blinks. The, at least that gives me a signal on my phone and on the unit if anyone opens this roll door. And those are the two main ones. I didn't need a whole 10, 15 because this only really has two entry points. And I'll put the motion sensor, but two of them, two out of two. If this helps you, please give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more stuff. I know here I'm going to put more... I'm going to put more lights on here. I only have this bar strip. I'll move that. Move that. I'm going to put lights here. A big fan. And then more lights that way. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend.